Fishman Spend Gymnastics YouTube channel. Today's class we're doing um, locomotion. This is the skills class. So if you're in the fundamentals class, we've also done a fundamentals locomotion um, YouTube video, which you can check out. Um, but today we're doing some a little bit higher level gymnastics. So if you're wondering what a locomotion is, a locomotion is when you move from point A to point B. Okay, so we do this in a number of ways at gymnastics. Um, maybe you can try and think of some of the different ways that we do this. Um, and we might do them today. So it could potentially be step kicks, um, it could be chassés, leaps, all these sorts of things. Before we get started, we're gonna do a little warm up. So today we're gonna do um, a little routine to some music. I'm gonna play a song and we're gonna, you can just copy along with me and we're gonna try and warm up and then we're gonna do some stretches and then we'll get started. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. is you want to bring one arm around behind us like this and we're going to grab our other hand and stretch it other side all right a little challenge for you you may be able to do this bring one arm behind and try and join your hands together 
right, you can also try on the other side. Might, you might have one side that's a bit, a bit less flexible than the other, I can't do it on the side. But, all right, good reason to stretch it out. All right, and rolling your shoulders backwards and forwards. All right, and rolling your wrists out. Perfect. All right, we're gonna reach the sky. We're gonna try and reach all the way down and touch the floor. Okay, we're gonna try and reach down to one side. Try and have your hands flat on the floor. If you can't, that's okay. Just reach down as far as you can. And the other side. All right. We're gonna switch our legs out. So just pulling your legs to either side out. One hand on each knee. And moving out. All right. And hips. Rolling your hips around. And then moving the other way. All right, and when you grab your foot, bring it up and stretch out your quad. Then grabbing the other foot. All right, and just shake it out. All right, perfect. So now we've also we've warmed up and we're stretched. We're gonna get started with the activities. All right, good work. Now, while you're doing your gymnastics walking, it's really important to maintain a consistent arm position all throughout your locomotion, okay? So sometimes when you're focusing on the type of steps you're doing, or if you're on the beam, if you're focusing on balancing, it is easy to forget your arm position and it can they can slowly drop down as you're doing your steps. So you wanna try and avoid that, okay? So you wanna make sure you're conscious of your arms the whole time, making sure they're up nice and high. Come stuck under, we don't want any limp wrists, no sad hands, we want nice happy hands and shoulders back and try to maintain that nice and consistently throughout your gymnastic steps. Okay guys, so the first locomotion that we're gonna be practicing today uh, our step kicks, okay? So we're gonna try, try and implement those gymnastics arms that we just learnt into our step kicks, okay? We want our step kicks to be nice and high, ideally. However, um, I'm gonna make sure that the rest of your shape is also really neat. You don't wanna be compromising. Um, nice presentation for a high kick, okay? So, I'm gonna make sure your foot is nice and flat on the ground. We're gonna make sure your supporting leg, so that's the leg that's not kicking, is nice and straight. So you wanna squeeze that knee, you make sure your shoulders back, your arms are in that nice position and you're looking forward, okay? So, we would rather see really nice presentation um, than a super high kick, okay? So, obviously you wanna try to kick as high as you can, but you don't wanna compromise the rest of your shape, okay? So, shoulders back and step kick, okay? So that's what a step kick should look like. You also wanna remember to have nice pointed toes. Now, before we start, um, doing locomotions before we start traveling in our step kicks i want us to practice a couple on the spot okay so we're going to do five on the spot on each leg trying to maintain your arm position the whole time and remembering to point your toes keep your supporting leg nice and straight um and your shoulders back okay so let's try five on each leg together one two three four five and the other leg i'll turn to the side this time one two three four, and five. Okay, now that we practice doing a few on the spot, we're gonna travel, we're gonna do a couple laps up and down. Two, three, four, five. Making sure you're looking forward as well when you're doing your set kicks. And last lap. Okay, so the next activity we're going to be practicing are our step hops, okay? In our step hops, we want the hop portion of the skill to be nice and high. So you want to jump up as high as you can and ideally land in the same spot. And then the locomotion, so the traveling comes in when you take your step. Okay, so before we start doing um, the skill altogether, we're going to practice just the hopping portion. Okay, so we can start off with our hands on our hips and bring one toe to your pivot shape. Okay, and we're going to do five hops on each foot in our pivot shape. One, two, three, four, five. And other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're gonna try with our arms in our presentation shape and seeing if we can keep them up nice and high the whole time. One, two, three, four, five. And up foot. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're gonna add some traveling to that. 
It's really important that you have nice straight knees and pointed toes the whole time that you're traveling, okay? If you have a little bit more space than me, you can try go in a straight line without stopping, okay? So under, in your presentation shape, looking forward. Good job. So our next activity that we're gonna do, are we're gonna learn how to do some sachets. Okay, so sachets is normally how we would enter into a leap to help us gain speed. So rather than just running, it's like a special entry. All right, so to do a sachet for now, we're gonna start with our hands on our hips. And you're gonna face the direction that you wanna go. You're gonna start with like one foot in front like you would do a hurdle, something like that, and you're gonna step onto that foot. And then when you're in the air, you're gonna join your feet together. So you step, join, and finish in a lunge. So that you're ready to do your leap or whatever jump you're gonna do at the end. Okay, so you're gonna do the same thing again. Point your foot in front, step onto it, join together and finish. Okay, same thing again. All right, let's try three more and then we might try to add something onto the end of it. And last one. So you're going to step, feet together in the air, and finish. Alright, so now that we've done our sachets, we're going to try to do some split leaps. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do one sachet, and then you're going to try to go into your leap. Okay, so when we do our leap, it's just about getting from one spot to another with our legs nice and straight. So it doesn't have to be a really nice, perfect split. Alright, we're just trying to kind of go as far as we can. So, when we do our sachet into a split leap, we have to start our sachet on the opposite leg to the one we're going to leap with. So I'm going to leap with my right leg, so I want to do my right leg in the air, so I'm going to start with my sachet on my left leg. So I'm going to start my arms and present so they're nice and still. Start my left leg in front, I'm going to sachet and leap to finish in a nice present shape. Okay, so let's do another one. So if the leap felt a little bit funny, I want you to try some by going as far as you can. Okay, so we we'll start with our left leg in front, we're gonna sachet and leap. Let's do three more. So my left leg's in front, I'm, my arms are in big present, sachet and leap. Go, let's see if we can do it on our other leg. Okay, so starting with have my right leg in front of my sachet and I'm going to do a left leg split leg. Okay, this might be a bit funky because it's not my preferred leg. Big present. And finish in a present shape. Well, that feels a bit funny. Just give me a go for a bit of fun. So big present. Make sure we finish in a nice present shape as well. So right leg in front, big present. And finish. Next slow motion we're going to do our continuous scorpion kicks. Okay, so when we do our continuous scorpion kicks, we want to try to keep our back leg off the floor at all times. Okay, so I'm just going to show you one scorpion kick. So we squeeze our arms up nice and tall on our nice starting shape, pointing our two. We've got our long lunge, T, and a scorpion kick. Okay, now I'm going to see if we can do a few in a row. Okay, so for me, the back leg is the top leg in your scorpion kick. So let's see, so I've got my nice starting shape, squeezing really tall, long lunge, scorpion, and then finish, and then keep going. So you can go on a straight line. Okay, if you have limited space like me, you can almost go on the spot. Alright, I'm going to try again. 
Try squeeze the ears the whole time. Good job. Okay, so for cool down, we're gonna do a bit of a challenge. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can do some locomotions but in a bridge shape. All right, so if you can't do a bridge, um, you can try to do the exact same thing but in a front support shape. Okay, so this is our front support shape. All right, so you can try to do it in that shape. If you can do a bridge or you would like to try, follow along with me. All right, so as you get into our bridge, you have a line on your back, put your hands down like this with your elbows pointing up towards the sky, and you're gonna try to push up tall. Try and squeeze your arms through, I'm trying to get through and see if you can hold it. If you can hold it, you can then try walk. Forward and backwards. And keep going. See how many steps you can do and you can count them. Okay, so if you found walking in your bridge relatively easy, we've got one more challenge for you. You're going to see if you can do your bridge walking but in a circle. Okay, so I don't have very much room but I'm going to give it a go. Alright, so you're going to get up into your bridge. And then see if you can walk in a circle. See how you go. It's pretty hard. <laughs> All right, I got most of the way around. Let us know how you go. Um, feel free to try all those different movements in a front support shape if you find the bridge is a bit too tricky because the bridge is a pretty awkward shape. Um, really, really good job today, guys. I hope you had fun watching and learning new locomotions. Have fun doing your gymnastics. Bye.